here at Berkeley, we have an unusual program in that we are we have never been about the tools. We've been about decision making and collaboration. Um, the way the classes work is they're production classes, they're engineering classes. The producer has to hire an engineer, they collaborate. Uh, and when that stuff happens in the dorm room, now they have laptops, uh, it's a given that the producer will be doing stuff on their own, but we heavily encourage them to use the engineer in, throughout the process. Even if they're not engineering, they should be there and be part of that process. We've also, up until, um, this is 2007, this is September 2007, so up until, excuse me, um, January of 2007, we were running analog at this college. And, uh, and it had nothing to do with sound. Uh, it had to do with the fact you got to make decisions. Um, with Pro Tools, it's really hard to do that. Um, we have a project that's called a Sound Alike that students would have to, uh, have from a library of songs, choose one and get it to sound alike on eight tracks. There's a reason that we want them to do that. So we would have students who would go off and go into Pro Tools, do it in Pro Tools, and then bounce it down to eight tracks, analog, by the way. He tracks analog. So on the one hand, you, it's great that they're inventive and kind of do that, but on the other hand, they're completely missing the point. They're not embracing the reasoning that we have for doing that. Um, so I think it's really challenging to do in Pro Tools because in my experience, what I see with students is they will, they will always go to their, their comfortable place. Uh, in trying to teach them analog, which is spread out, and requires, requires you know where the knob is, and there's no pull-down window to, to kind of find your way. You, you are responsible for a certain amount of knowledge, and they, they back away from that. Um, so it's hard, I think it's hard to teach, teach that kind of stuff with Pro Tools. By the same token, uh, in live performance, another thing I see here is that, you know, we see students show up, um, there's a pretty seamless transition between the way they appear on the street and the way they appear on the stage. And, um, and I think that we, we need to encourage a different aspect. It's a different place. It's a different creative place. They're doing something different than um, just walking around in the air. Um, so we want them to value their, their artistry in that way. Um, and it's a similar paradigm in terms of the studio.